Smash that like button. This will be the last story of the night. Um, we got Remy Ma. She's reportedly under investigation for an assault that occurred, allegedly. We don't know if it happened. And then Takashi 69 new docs uh, reveal a cooperating witness to testify in Barclay's shooting trial, which means somebody else is talking. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button, guys. Smash that thumbs up button. It's very important, guys. I appreciate you guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell for the latest news. Okay, so Remy Ma. Uh, so the other day it was reported, well, <laughs> Brittany Taylor reported herself that uh, – she said, so I'm here on my way to a very important meeting, and it's hard to even focus because of what occurred last night. I didn't want to bring it to social media because it's very embarrassing and not a good look, to be honest. I tried my best to cover it up with makeup and move on, but it still didn't work. My question is, Remy Ma, why did you do this? Well, Remy Ma is on, uh, she's on parole, right? So... This, her reporting this and everything, um, and this is, this ha happened, uh, uh, which featured a set from Fat Joe, okay, she, uh, Remy Ma was scheduled to perform at the event, and then, uh, this, let's see what happened, uh, Brittany Taylor claims that Remy Ma punched her on Tuesday night during the Pretty Lou Benefit concert in Irvington Plaza, or Irving Plaza, Irving Plaza has a lot of bad things around it, right? No charges have been filed, but then today, law enforcement says Brittany told cops that she was attacked by Remy after she entered the backstage area. They exchanged words in the green room, uh, and then Remy, uh, relating to an attack on Remy's stepdaughter, uh, which happened a couple weeks ago, Remy threw a punch, and uh, she accused of her of doing this, and then uh, she went to the hospital for treatment. She's trying to get Remy Ma locked up, which is kind of corny. Uh, Remy Ma just had a baby. She's having, you know, good, a good life with Papoose and everything. You know, she already did her time. And it would be a shame if this is what sent her back to jail. Uh, hopefully it won't. I mean, they're saying, Remy's team is saying there's no validity to the story. So I'm sure it'll blow over. Someone's just looking for attention. This Britney girl. Uh, anyways... There's a guy named Lovick. Um, now, he's part of the Trey, nine, nine Trey Gangsters or whatever, Nine Trey Bloods. Um, well, he's being named and arrested for the Barclays incident. They say they have footage, but not only that, someone's cooperating in the case according to the documents. Um, and this footage, uh, like I said, shows uh, him at Barclays with a gun. In addition to all this, uh, one of the co-defendants supposedly is one of the ones talking. So I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, this guy's name, is, he goes by Foobanger. That's how you might remember him. So uh, more people are still going down for the Takashi 6 9 stuff. Uh, I'll keep you posted on all that. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. I hope you guys have a wonderful night. I will check you guys in the morning with fresh stories. Love you guys. Smash that thumbs up button. I'll check you guys later.